I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just barely came out of the, of the shop. We've completely redone it. Uh, it's a 1981 42-inch Yamaha, and, uh, and we've, we've put it through our, our full um, checklist, which is very, very extensive. Um, why don't we get a shot quickly of the shop um, where we do all of that work. We, we've put all of these, all of these pianos through a, through a checklist. Um, you can see a couple guys working on working on some pianos right now as we speak. Uh, it's a it's a checklist that uh, I, I've been working on pianos since 1995, and, and a lot of pianos that I've that I've done um, are um, pianos that go back even to the 19th century, but uh, but but many that that are into the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, like this one is. Um, all the way to today. I've worked on all pianos of, of all sizes, all years, anyway. And over that time, in, in my experience, I've come up with this very extensive checklist of what these pianos need. And, and for a long time, I just kept expanding and expanding and expanding, um, getting more and more picky about, about what, I would, what I would accept. Um, and I feel like I've come to a point where uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with where these pianos end up. So it's a, so it's a very high level um, uh, re refurbishing of, of, of these pianos, both on the inside as well as the outside. So, so we have refinished it. It's in, um, in this, this ebony satin finish. And then uh, again, cosmetically, we've, we've done other little touches, like we've polished up the pedals and the casters and these, these hinges. We've put on a new... Um, decal so the, the goal is to make it look like it's brand new same with the inside the goal there is to make it function like it's brand new of course that's impossible but uh, but we can get really really close um, and in any case what uh, uh, an argument that I certainly would feel, feel very comfortable making is that uh, is that we make them so good that uh, and, and so close to, to brand new in terms of function, cosmetics, and uh, how they will endure. And that, the argument that I would feel very comfortable making is that, uh, is that where they're so reasonably priced, um, that, uh, that it's a significantly better value, one of these, than, than brand new. Um, the, uh, I, I, I think, frankly, that particularly from a functional standpoint, it would be very difficult to, to sense the difference between a piano that we've put through our, our refurbishing process and one that is brand new. Okay, so some uh, quick, quick kind of glossing over what, what exactly that entails. Of course, we clean them. Any piano within, within 10 years or, or so is going to be filthy on the inside. This one, uh, pushing 40, uh, was, was no exception. So we, we take the keys out, take the action out, all the cabinetry out. Uh, Take it outside, blow it out, and spend spend a whole day just going through soda blasting and cleaning and vacuuming and, and even um, using Q-tips to, to find detail everything, every nook and cranny that we can find to make it immaculate. We tighten everything up, um, uh, lubricate, we align everything so that so that things are are in a straight line alignment from the from the key straight through to the hammer where it hits the string. Um, uh, of course, uh, 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 full regulation. So that that includes everything from leveling the keys to ensuring that the uh, that the action is functioning as it's supposed to as it's supposed to function. The distance you can depress the key is correct. The distance that the hammer is from the string when the hammer is at rest, that's the correct distance. When the hammer comes close to the string and it pulls away at, at an eighth of an inch of the string. The hammer checks at the right at the right um, at the right spot. Of course, none of these things really are are of any concern to the musician, except to say that it maximizes both repetition and your power dynamic range, um, as well as as well as the the parts where um, correctly, as opposed to to where. Uh, and, and introduce problems that wouldn't that that, uh, that wouldn't, shouldn't be there. So uh, then, then of course the uh, we voiced it. The pedals we, we've redone all of the mechanism in the pedals so that so that those are functioning correctly. And then and we tune it. We also deliver um, 
to uh, Utah and Salt Lake counties. So um, uh, Yamaha in perfect condition. So this one is... This also has a uh, has a has a pedal that is good for um, if you have a like a, a sleeping baby or something in the other room where you can significantly really um, uh, decrease the volume mute the, the mute pedal. So just kind of play the same thing that I was playing. You can hear how dramatically different that volume is. It just kind of decreases it, maybe not quite as dramatically, and it doesn't change the tone like the middle pedal does. Um, okay, great piano. Um, very pleased with how it turned out. This one, lots of other pianos just like it that that, uh, that we have, and we're and we're coming out with with new ones on a, on a fairly regular regular basis, um, depending on the week. So uh, come check it out. Um, you're welcome to to see the see the shop as well if you're interested in, in the process that I sort of got into a little bit here in this video. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem and the, uh, the phone number is 801-701-0113. Thanks for watching.